The first thing we'll need to do to be able to start the Barba GSub tutorials, you need to open the Barba GSub folder in VS Code, install all the dependencies and run the dev server. Okay, so let's do that together. Open it in VS Code, run yarn install or npm install. And once you done that, then we can run npm run dev to see the first page open in a browser. Okay, this should be quite straightforward if you follow the first part of the series. And when it's all done, we see a new page opening in a browser with localhost 900 or 9000 and simple layout with three pages, index architecture and a detail page. And now we will use Barba JS to add some page transitions and smoothen up a little bit the leaving of the page and the entering of the new one. In the index HTML detail page and architecture, we are including the data Barba wrapper, the container and the namespace. So if it's not in the starting files, just edit data Barba wrapper on a body on all three pages and then the data Barba container and the namespace on the div with the class wrapper. Okay, so this should be on all three pages. And as you can see, we are including the header inside of the containers. So the header with the navigation links are inside of it. So we are not keeping it outside of the container. So we will show and hide different navigation on different containers because on the detail page, we only have a link back to categories. And on the architecture, we are swapping the class active from the architecture link to the landscape link on the home page. So the is active class will be used for the underline or border bottom line that we want to animate as well. That's why I'm including it inside of the wrapper. And that is pretty much it. The other change we'll do, we only keep two columns and we'll remove all the other ones. Okay, so make sure that the index has only two columns that will simplify the animation for us and then you can play of course with the rest of it but I have only included four columns just to make the page a little bit longer but we only want to concentrate on animating these two columns one by one okay so that's the HTML change and in the package JSON we are only installing and including Barba core and GSUB for the animation. So we're not including the Barba CSS plugin as we've included in the, in the first part of this series. The rest of it, the rest of the Webpack bundling is exactly the same. Inside of the app.js, we importing Barba Core and Barba GSUB. And that's pretty much it. In terms of the layout, it's pretty straightforward. There is not much in the style sheet. We are resetting again, having some default style for the page. Two columns, they spread 50% of the parent container. And then we get to positioning of the image a little bit later. We're using the padding bottom hack, but we'll, we'll get to it a little bit later. And then we have a simple header with a link and the link has a span inside of it with a background color white and if it's active, we're changing the span color to black. Okay, so we'll use this span to animate, to move the underline out and in. So that's how the background color or the border bottom on the link was created. And that is pretty much it. Okay, so simple media query at the bottom. And that's it for the structure. Now we are able to start initiating Barba and doing the GSUB animation inside of the app.js.